when Husqvarna opened up um, IFTTT integration for all automowers that have Automower Connect installed, there was a lot of excitement in the different forums on the, on the net. I knew this was something I'd have to look into, but it sounded a bit complicated. But I found out it was so easy that I deleted all the applets I'd made, and I'm going to start all over again and show just how easy this can be done. So I start off by going into ifttt.com, made an account, and I'm logged in. And here we can see I've got uh, no applets yet, because I've just deleted all the ones I made yesterday. And I'm going to make some new ones now. I'll start off making a couple on the computer, and then I'll switch over to the iPhone, continue there with making applets, and then I'm going to make a couple of widgets, which you might also find comes in handy. So let's get started with a new applet over here. And here we can see that uh, IFTTT stands for if this, then that. So this is the trigger. What we're going to do now? What I am aiming to do here is, if the weather forecast changes to rain, I want the auto mower to stay at home. I do have a couple of areas that uh, can be flooded if it rains a lot, and it's also a lot more cleaning to do. So let's click on this to find a trigger. Now what we're looking for is when it rains and a lot of people seem to use something called weather underground for their weather triggers so let's click here on weather underground and the trigger which I found best was this one when the current condition changes to and of course we want to know it's going to be raining so I click on this trigger it's filled in rain automatically put in the location we want to read the weather from and create trigger that easily so here if the weather changes to rain in my area then what do we want to do so click on the plus here now we want auto mower and here are some of the actions so what I'm going to do, instead of park automo until further notice, because that won't come out again until I start it either through the app or manually on the machine, I'm just going to choose park automo until the next scheduled start. So it will start as planned the day after. So let's click on this one. Now when I first started with this, I had to log into my automo Connect account with my email and password. So that's already done, and it's brought up here all the mowers I have in the account so I'm going to start with flash and create the action uh, for the name here I'm just going to call this park flash receive notifications on the telephone when this applet runs so I know it's been uh, sent home for the day and finish and that's how easy that was so let's go back to my applets here's park flash now I'm going to do one for tango and do just the same a new applet go back to weather underground again when the current condition changes to rain here where I live and create the trigger then the action is park until the next scheduled start and this time we'll do Tango and create the action. And here again, I'm just going to call this Park Tango. Notifications when it's uh, activated and finish. So let's go back to my applets now. And here we see the two <coughs> Park Tango and Park Flash. Now I'm going to hop over to the iPhone and create another um, 
app plot for Jacko and then I'll start looking at some widgets now we've made two applets on the computer now it's time to have a look at the iPhone here you can see I've downloaded the IFTTT app we'll open that and um, we'll click on my applets and these are the two we've just made so let's continue here and we'll make a new applet and we have one to park Jacko if it starts to rain so it's exactly the same we go into weather underground the trigger we want is when the current condition changes to and we want it to register when it's going to be raining rain's already filled out locations right so I can just press save here we scroll down and just click on create trigger and now the action so you click on that search for auto mower and then just the same again we want to send it home until the next scheduled start the bottom one here click on here choose the auto mower this time it's going to be Jacko and create action it, it wasn't worse than that let's just uh, edit the name a little bit here because it's a bit long now remember these are uh, applets we're going to be looking at widgets on the next little piece here so we turn on notifications so I know when this applet's been activated and finish So now we have the three that are based upon the weather report. Now it's time to look at widgets. So we're going to go for something that's called button widget. Click on that one and click on button press. So that's a trigger. Now we need the action. So search for auto mower again. And this time I want to send them home until further notice. So park auto mower until further notice. Which auto mower? Let's start with uh, flash again. And create action. So let's turn on notifications so I know when this has been uh, activated. First we change the name here. turn on notifications and finish so where does this widget go well let's have a look at um, when you swipe left on the widget pages on the iPhone and there it's come park flash and this is until further notice so let's go back and we'll make widgets to park Tango and Jacko and when we've done that we'll make another widget to start them all again Right now we have three widgets to park three automobiles until further notice. Now we're going to make some other widgets to start them again. In this first one I chose start which is the same as the manual override in the app. 
where you can choose between 3 and 24 hours. In the app I think you can choose all the way up to 7 days. But this isn't really what I wanted so I went back and I chose resume automatic operation which puts it back onto the scheduled timer again. I did this for all three mowers that were featured earlier. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. So let's try and park these uh, three mowers. It's one, two, and three. Now they're going to stay in the charge until further notice, unless I click here, which will put them back onto the automatic schedule again. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you have fun playing with applets and widgets. That's all from me. Thank you for listening and watching.